Does someone has an Ethereum wallet on their phone uh, right now? Uh, can someone pull a QR code on Ethereum? Okay, someone there. Uh, I'll send you money, so you should, yeah. yeah. Um, so any QR code, any app, um, and let's prepare a transfer. So I have here 77 ETH, $18,000 more or less, that I will send to uh, Arthur, <laughs> if he's the first. So let's click send. Pull out the camera. I, I, you will have to come to me. Here we are, QR code, recognize. Here we are. So I will send 77 5 ETH to Arthur. Uh, no, it, it's happening, I'm clicking continue. That's the final screen, that's the confirmation screen, so I'm going for it. I'm clicking send. So, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so what's happening now? The smart contract, so again, it's not in the app, it's not in our backend, the smart contract sees a large transfer above a daily limit I've set to an address I don't trust because I didn't know Arthur, it wasn't staged. Uh, so if it will basically, even if I go ahead, so I'll go ahead, it will take 24 hours. So this transaction will be mine, I don't need to save you as a contact. Uh, but in fact, the smart contract will not trigger the payment for another further 24 hours. So I was maybe drunk at a bar, you got my phone, or, or you stole my private key in some way. Still, you cannot take the money. Uh, so now I will, you know, I'll just go back after the talk and cancel it at any time. Uh, if I wanted to make that payment, I would use my guardian. I would set you as a trusted contact. So it is possible to have the same uh, ease of use as your bank uh, in a fully non-custodial way uh, to be more secure, I believe, than a hardware wallet because even with your private key, people cannot steal your funds.